Hi, Abby. Hi, Brian. What can I do for you? What's our current exposure to high-yield energy bonds? Your portfolio holds 16% high-yield energy bonds. The benchmark holds 15%. You're 1% overweight. Okay, I have $10 million to invest, and I'd like to increase our overweight. Can you suggest some bonds to buy? I'd be happy to help. Are there any specific criteria we need to meet? Yes, I want to look for U.S. high-yield energy bonds that yield more than 6%, uh, screen cheap on quant metrics, and are attractive based on our fundamental analyst views. Oh, and let's exclude midstream companies. One more thing, please check market liquidity conditions to make sure we only focus on executable trades. Here are five proposed trades. The basket has a yield of 8.5%, OAS 580 basis points, and duration of 4.75. Thanks, Abby. Let me check into this. Okay, Abby. The team reviewed these, and the decision was made not to buy the WPXs or the QEPs right now. Please build orders to buy the others. Okay, Brian. Building three orders for you now. Hi, Brian. I know that last time we traded a basket of energy bonds, you didn't buy the WPX bonds. They were trading at $90, and they're currently being offered at $85. In addition, our analysts' view of WPX has improved since we last looked, and the credit is cheaper on our quant metrics. They also meet client guidelines for the high-yield portfolio. Would you like to buy? How much WPX do we have right now? You're five basis points overweight. Would you like to increase your overweight? The order would be five million bonds. Thanks, Abby. That trade looks more attractive than it did last time. Please build the order. Brian, I noticed you just requested an order to buy 1,000 contracts of Treasury futures. Usually, you buy between 50 and 150 contracts in this portfolio. Did you mean to say 100? You're right, Abby. Please change the order to 100 contracts. Hi, Abby. It's Jill over at Institution X. Company Y has been all over the news lately. What's my exposure? Hi, Jill. You don't own any Company Y at this time. Here is a report on how Company Y's issues could affect the rest of the sector from our analyst, John Smith. 